Hey guys, what's up? It is Gears here, and today we are showing you a tutorial on fixing Battlefield 3 bugs, errors, and everything else. Now, this tutorial basically will show um, the problem I have right now, which is the invalid license code X007E. So basically, this is trying to say that my license is both invalid or I'm missing a DLL file that runs the license. Um, just note that I'm doing two uh two ways of doing it, and um, I did a, a video where I was actually recording this, and I accidentally found the way to to it made it work basically, and I did it by accident, but it's the way to fix it. So um, here we go, and uh, hope you guys like it. Please rate, subscribe, and all that great stuff. Thank you. Hey guys, what's up? It is Gears here, and today I'm showing you a fix on a Battlefield 3 game. Now, this game always has so much errors, and so many people tell me so much problems, and it's kind of hard to help so many people because they have multi problems after I fix one huge big problem. But I'll show you this one, and this is a multi. multi. uh way of doing it so okay so hey okay you're gonna open battlefield 3 and you're gonna wanna play it and then you get this code it says we're sorry and there has occurred invalid license reason and it says missing DLL now there's actually no missing DLL there's just a cache file and the license file is conflict with each other where it's not reading the game I guess and it gives you this code so the way to do this is multi parts I'm gonna have to pause it because I'm gonna have to reboot my PC and show you how this is working so go to you know it go to uh, the recommended um, thing is to use Internet Explorer uh, I'm not a fan of Internet Explorer at all but you have to use it in this case Ask me later. Now this only works doing it this way, but say okay, um paste this in, I'll put the link in the description. I have the index already of this, but you go C or wherever you have it installed, but basically wherever you're opening it also automatically goes to that drive. So you go C, Program Data, Electronic Arts, EA Services, License, forward slash, delete this file, no matter what file that's there, any DIF files, delete it. Just completely delete it. Now, this part, um, you're going to have to reboot, so I'll come back to the second part when I reboot. Okay, we are back. Now we're still continuing on to the uh, license fix error on the DLL missing file thing. Now um, this is the second part which we're going to have to do. Um, make sure you're, um, oh, what you call it, origins on. Let me uh, do that right now because I don't have it auto boot up because I don't like doing that. It slows down my PC even though I'm running on SSD. Does it all the time when I write it. Now it says update. After I did the uh, deleting that file, now there's an update. Yeah. Let me log in. By the way, uh, I'm probably gonna sell this game. I don't even play it. I don't really play anymore. So any of those people that want this game and you don't have it, hit me up. Yeah, okay. Now I was going to prepare it. Um, if it doesn't work from the first fix, um, I'll show you the second way of doing it, which is another file you have to check for. While that's going on, I'll just uh, start on the second part. It's like logging in their server. So you're gonna have to go to use this a C program data origin download cache. 
or cachet. So this gives you the, this basically logs in everything what it's doing right now. Okay, as I was saying, just uh, when you're here in this uh, download cache, uh, just delete the data that's here. That's fine, nothing's going to happen, just delete it. And then all you're going to do is just uh, reload uh, or a John and uh, that should actually work if not then you're gonna have to repeat the process one more time I'm think I'm supposed to reboot but I'm not so let it prepare we're just about to end this video basically it did not work for me but I'm going to show you another way that actually did work for me and uh, hopefully that helps you guys. If this one does not help you, uh, please check out that video Battlefield now. 3. Hopefully the uh, two steps uh, work. If not, we have to repeat the process one more time for it to actually go through. And uh, yeah, so let's see what happens. We're at 95. Okay, we're at 100% complete. Let's see what happens now. Now, it gives me, um, we cannot activate your Battlefield 3 on this computer, and then you just enter the activation code. We're just about to end this video. Basically, it did not work for me, but I'm going to show you another way that actually did work for me, and uh, hopefully that helps you guys. If this one does not help you, uh, please check out that video now. Thank you. This video is part of the Way Movement. A career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit TGN.tv.